A new report claims that Disney executives are butthurt over the South Park joining the Pandaverse special. Before we get into the report, let's give you a brief overview over South Park joining the Pandaverse in case you haven't seen it yet. The special was released on Paramount Plus at the end of October and took a number of shots at the Walt Disney Company and heavily lampooned Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy. The episode also turned Kennedy into a meme, mocking her vision as a producer by repeating the same tired and failed formula. Specifically, Eric Cartman becomes Kathleen Kennedy and informs the Disney board how to make their movies. Put a chick in it, make her lame and gay. Following the release of the episode, Midnight's Edge reported on rumors they heard about what their reactions at Disney were like. The channel's founder, Andre Anhar, stated, What we have heard is that the powers in Disney and Lucasfilm, like everyone else, knew the episode was coming and they knew it was going to have a go at them, but they didn't know in advance in exactly which way. And what they saw allegedly went beyond anything they ever imagined than even their worst of nightmares. He then shared the behind-the-scenes response. Then at Disney was a mix of shock, embarrassment, feelings of betrayal, and overall butthurt. There apparently were some lines of communication between Disney and Paramount over the course of the weekend, but from what I gather, very little constructive came out of it, as apparently many at Disney's end were a tad emotional, especially the true believers of the woke cause, as South Park just gave it a black eye. That minor lip service that was towards criticizing YouTubers and those who would send Kathleen Kennedy hate mail was apparently very little consolation. Einhardt then shared what he had heard about Kathleen Kennedy's reaction to the episode. He said, as for Kathleen Kennedy, she reportedly did not take it well, not at all. He added, from everything we've heard, Miss Kennedy is quite the piece of work. She takes everything personally, and she allegedly reacts with anger, lashing out sometimes through intermediaries. This description of Kennedy appears to be confirmed by former of the Maine's Lorian actress Gina Carano, who shared a bit of satire to X detailing Kennedy's behavior. She said, this is the part where KKK or where KK demands any YouTubers get censored off of YouTube for sharing and laughing at this hilarious episode. She'll have YouTube disable the thumbs down option because of the ratio she'll receive. Then she'll have her publicist ghouls make sure Variety and Hollywood Reporter run hit pieces about the South Park creators and their family smearing their names through every useful idiot she has under her thumb who would sell their soul to work for Lucasfilm. She'll activate her online mob to repeat that the South Park creators are racist, bigot, transphobes, and demand the South Park creators publicly apologize by only using words she approves of. And finally, she'll demand they subject themselves to a re-education course of 45 people in the LBGTQ community Zoom call to sit there and listen of how badly they got their feelings hurt all over a little boop of a South Park episode. But maybe, just maybe, the jig is up. Gina Carano concluded. So that is the report on how Disney executives and Kathleen Kennedy are reacting to South Park joining the Pandaverse. Let me know what you make of this. Uh, I think it's definitely possible that is indeed the case, that they did not like it. They were embarrassed by it. They are hurt by it. And it's just basically another knock on a tumbling empire that is coming crashing down off the mountain. Uh, with the failure of Star Wars, with the failure of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the failure of Pixar, the failure of their Disney princesses. Uh, it's all coming crashing down for the Walt Disney Company, and uh, they're even going to have a proxy battle with Nelson Peltz as well. So it's definitely possible that uh, this rubbed them the wrong way, and I think based on Gina Carano's testimony here, it probably deeply affected Kathleen Kennedy. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Subscribe for more.